I need a bell. Like, like. Oh, hell of beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. All right, I don't know about that, or what that was. But, as I told you guys, man, listen, I hit you guys off with my spring list, but the missus, man, she was working on something of her own. Well, listen, I mean, let me be full disclosure here. She was downstairs in the kitchen. I walked down there with a box of like 40 fragrances, and I said, pick 10 for the spring video. And this was before I recorded, but <laughs> she was like, what? Like, what am I doing? I mean, can I at least get some coffee? Yeah, all right. Here's, here's your coffee beans. It was like the coffee grinds from Dunkin' Donuts. Here you go, let's get the list. So, I told you guys I would give it to you, and um, you guys let me know, man, what you guys think. Who list won? Did I win, or did she win? Comment below and let us know. But without any further ado, what happened to her list? Full disclosure, this list was solely created by her. She really went through with the test strips and, <sighs> get that shit out of here. Give me that. Bit by Boy was all created by her, and I like it. So let's get down to business, as I said. Kicking off her list in the number 10 spot is a fragrance from the House of Coach. This is the first fragrance for men that I found from the House of Coach, and it is Coach for Men. Man, this fragrance is a winner. In my personal opinion, they did a lot of things right when making this one. I think I said this one before, but Coach for Men has mass appeal and quality. It's green, it's fresh, it's spicy, yet it's refined. And I personally find this one to be a great offering from the house of Coach. In the number 10 spot, you got Coach for Men. Now, the next fragrance on the list was not only a fragrance on my list. It was a newcomer to any list on the channel, and it's a new release, and obviously it's made my wife's list as well. Again, I think this fragrance will be great for nighttime wear this spring. The number nine fragrance comes from the house of Commodity, and it's Commodity's Velvet. This one is a sensual blend of almond, rose, and amber. To me, Velvet is a lighter version of By the Fireplace with the added note of rose. If you haven't had a chance to smell this one, get your nose on it, come back to this video or one of the other videos, and let let me know what you guys thoughts and opinions on this one. I really like it. I know a few people have already hit me up and said, B, I tried it out. I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, it was number nine on her list. It was slightly higher on mine, but in the number nine spot, you got Commodities Velvet. The next fragrance on her list is another one that could possibly show great promise for a spring evening fragrance. The number eight fragrance has been mentioned on the channel before. I have a full review of this one up. It comes from the house of YSL and it's loam. Eau Electrique. Eau Electrique is simple and fresh. It opens up with this apple and bergamot and then it dries down to the cedar. This one doesn't get a lot of love in the community, but my missus likes it and therefore it's on her list. In the number eight spot, you got Lone Eau Electrique. Now, I don't know, man. I'm not sure if any of you guys really have seen this one out in stores because I haven't yet. I actually ordered that one from FragranceBuy.ca. So, for sure, they have it. Check it out. The number seven fragrance comes from the house of Tom Ford, and it's Tom Ford's Grape Vetiver. Now this one is the Eau de Parfum Concentration. This one is fresh, it's classy, it's masculine, and this one is going to be great for casual or business wear. This one has citrus notes, spices, and wood notes that are well blended to give this one a fresh, uplifting vibe. I know many people out there who don't like vetiver fragrances, but thoroughly enjoy Tom Ford's Great Vetiver, so make sure you give this one a try and enjoy. The number six fragrance is one that I thoroughly enjoy and it's gotten a great rating from me in the official review. This one comes from the house of Chanel and it's Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanc. This one is a bright uplifting fragrance but the underlying notes of sandalwood and musk give this one a level of complexity that I find hard to match. Edition Blanc is the epitome of a spring and summer day and it's well deserved a spot on my list, on her list, and your list out there. If you guys haven't given this one a try, make sure you do so. This one is one of the ones that is more difficult to find. At least for me, it's been more difficult to find in stores. So this one was ordered. In most cases, you may need to order this one as well, unless you're in a major city. But man, really nice fragrance from the house of Chanel. Great job. The number five fragrance is another newcomer to my fragrance collection and one that many of you guys out there stated that you enjoyed as well. Not only did this fragrance make my list, but it obviously made hers as well. The number five fragrance comes from the house of Joe Malone and it's Oud 
and bergamot. Oud, bergamot, and cedar are your main notes here. To me, this is a light take on these notes. It's in most cases, when you typically smell these oud, bergamot type fragrance, they tend to be loud, they tend to be strong, and they tend to be prominent. I find that this one sits close to the skin and it performs. Man, I thoroughly enjoy smelling this fragrance, and obviously, she enjoys smelling it on me. Comment below and let me know what you guys' thoughts and opinion are on this one. I'm not sure if the video is going to drop for this first, but I do have official review coming. If it's already released, check it out. If not, I'll link it so you can still check it out. It's been a while since we had some conversation about this fragrance. The number four fragrance comes from the house of Bond and it's Bond's Wall Street. To me, this one is a nice, pleasant, aromatic, aquatic scent, but I wouldn't be surprised if you labeled this one as synthetic. It's a spicy, aromatic scent with lavender, vetiver, and ambergris, but this one to me closely resembles Sean John's Unforgivable. This is like a higher quality version of that one and slightly less synthetic. I know that's weird, right? Because I said that you guys would say this one is synthetic, but I believe that this one is less synthetic than Sean John's Unforgivable. Typically when people talk about that fragrance, they tend to liken it to uh, Creed's Millicent Imperial. But to my nose, this one is a much closer version and I thoroughly enjoy this one and obviously she does as well. The number three fragrance on her list topped my spring list last year and it was my number three fragrance too. It hails from the house of Creed and it's Creed's Virgin Island Water. This one has tropical woods. Mandarin, orange, bergamot, coconut, lime. This one is amazing. I've said this before and I'll say it again. This one to me is the tropics in the bottle. This is a vacation in the bottle. This is spring in the bottle. This is summer in the bottle. This is life in a bottle. It's fresh, it's fruity, and one that I get to enjoy all year because here in Florida, I can wear this one all year round, man. I thoroughly enjoy this one. I reach for it when I can, and I try not to go overboard on it. Typically, when you get fragrances like this, they have that coconut note that's very tropical. Um, some of them can lean to be more so like suntan lotion. You know, if you're out and about, get that type of vibe for it. But this one, to me, is high quality. It stands out. It performs. Now, I know that sometimes creeds get flack for their fragrances not performing as well as they should. But to me, this one, in the time that I've had this fragrance, has done a masterful job in performance. It's done a masterful job in getting me compliments. And um, man, I would not steer you wrong with this one. I wouldn't tell you not to buy it. I would tell you to buy it if you had the money to grab it. Get it, and don't get the clones, man. Don't get the uh, Tommy Bahamas. I mean, you can get it if you want it, but it's not a replacement for this one. And with that said, I think I've talked enough about this one. Number three spot, Creed's Virgin Island Water. I think it's a bit wild because we actually shared the number two fragrance as well. If you guys don't recall my number two fragrance, my number two fragrance came from the house of Tom Ford, and it was River of Amber. Or you may better know it by its name, Reeve Dombre, or Reeve D'Ombre. I don't know one of those two. Now, although this one is a citrus-based fragrance, to me, this one is warm and it's seductive. That seduction of this one, to me, more so comes from that amber, which is obviously a prominent note here as it's in the name. A few of the key ingredients to this one, to me, is the bergamot, amber, and this pear accord. Man, just takes it to a whole nother level. Reef Dombre works well for men and women, and one that I believe that you should give a shot next time you're in a sax or anywhere that has the Tom Ford private blend display, make sure that you get your nose on this one. Go to the tasting bar and let your nose do some exploring. I think you'll be very pleased for this one, especially when it comes to spring and summertime fragrances. Now, as we get into wrap this video up, I'm going to give you guys her number one, the numero uno formula. Uh, the number one fragrance on her list uh, for spring 2018 is one that many of you guys thought should be on my list as well. And I'm like, yeah, I can see that. I mean, I like the fragrance a lot, like a, a shit ton. Um, but it didn't make the list for me. Why? I don't know. Um, maybe because I tried to get away from wearing it so much because I knew someone who that was their signature scent, so I didn't wear it as much as I typically once did. But it's a thoroughly enjoyable fragrance. And you guys probably don't want what are you talking about, big baby? Give us the fragrance. The fragrance comes from the house of Creed. Look, man, when it comes to spring and summer, 
This is what Creed does well. They do these fresh fragrances as well. This one comes from the house of Creed, and it's Creed's Green Irish Tweed. I mean, you guys are well versed in this one. You know this one. This one is lemon, it's peppermint, it's violet leaves, sandalwood, and iris. This is a fresh, woody fragrance. It's elegant, it's green. What more can you say about this one? I mean, there's a ton that can be said about it, but I don't think you need to. I mean, it speaks for itself. The name speaks for itself. When they see the bottle, it speaks for itself. And this one has been selling for Creed for quite some time. This is actually one of their best-selling fragrances. If you guys haven't had a chance to check this one out, actually not this one. They actually, I mean, it's the same fragrance, but the bottle is different. They have a Miami Edition bottle, which I thought about buying, but I'm not sure... I'm not that I'm not sure. I know that I don't need the bottle. It's the exact same fragrance. No changes there. This the bottle's different. I forgot the artist that made the actual bottle for the Miami edition. But the different bottle, the artist painting on that bottle brings it up another 400 bucks or so. And I just don't feel like the bottle's worth it. But it is a cool looking bottle. I'll link it below if you guys haven't seen it yet. Because maybe you want it. You know, maybe you want that collector's edition Miami edition bottle. The fragrance is still what it's always been. It's always been a performer. It does extremely well. I mean, what more needs to be said about that fragrance? Actually, I wore that last week, I want to say. No, not last week. The week before last. A few fragrance rotation videos ago, it was in there. I know I talked about it. So, that's her list, man. Let me know what you guys think. Check her list out. You know, go back, look at my list. Come back, look at her list. You know, and let us know what you think, man. Who won? Are you on Team Beard or Team Beaver? As always, I'm your boy, Big BB. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And it's spring, baby. Oh, yeah, it's spring. Spring over to the goddamn bell and hit it.